Hey there, and welcome back to our channel. Ready to turbocharge your trading experience? If NinjaTrader 8.1 is feeling a little sluggish, we've got you covered with some super simple tips to boost its performance and keep things running smoothly, just like you want. In this video, we're going to break down how you can optimize NinjaTrader's performance and responsiveness with these super simple steps. Let's dive into optimizing NinjaTrader for lightning fast responsiveness. System check. Before we dive into optimization, make sure your system is up to the task. NinjaTrader 8.1 is a powerhouse, but it needs a machine that can keep up. Here's what you'll need. Operating system. Make sure you're using Windows Server 2022, Windows Server 2025, or Windows 11 Pro. These versions ensure optimal compatibility with NinjaTrader's features. Processor. Your CPU should have at least four cores at 3.0 GHz. If you're really looking for performance, bump it up to eight cores at 3.5 GHz or more. More cores and higher speeds allow NinjaTrader to run complex strategies and data-heavy tasks smoothly. Memory. 8 GB is the minimum, but for smooth sailing, 16 GB is ideal, especially if you use multiple charts or backtest strategies. Storage. You'll need 250 megabytes of free space for NinjaTrader installation, but for heavy use, especially with historical market data, go with an SSD to ensure fast read-write speeds. Internet. A connection speed of 10 megabits per second download 5 megabits per second upload is sufficient for basic use. However, if you're working with multiple charts or data streams, aim for 50 plus MBPs download for optimal speed. Declutter your workspace. Every open window in NinjaTrader is using valuable system resources, even if you don't see it. A chart, a DOM window, even a small tab, these all contribute to lag. Close any windows or charts you aren't actively using. For example, if you have 10 charts open but only need 5, close the other 5. This will free up CPU and RAM to focus on the important stuff. Instead of opening separate charts for each time frame, combine them into one chart. You can have a 5-minute, 15-minute, and 1-hour chart displayed on the same window, cutting down on the resources used. Workspaces, less is more. Workspaces are great for managing different setups, but each open workspace consumes resources. Even if a workspace isn't visible, it's still running in the background, consuming memory and CPU power. Go to the Workspaces menu in the Control Center and close any workspaces you're not actively using. A quick check of the workspace list will show you which ones are running. Close and use workspaces to prevent unnecessary resource consumption. If you have several workspaces, like one for day trading and another for backtesting, consider switching between them instead of having them all open at once. You can always save workspace templates to switch quickly. Tweak calculation settings. NinjaTrader calculates data and updates indicators constantly, but these calculations can eat up system resources. You can fine-tune how and when these calculations happen to save on processing power. Right-click on a chart or indicator and change the Calculate on setting from each tick to on bar close or on price change. This means NinjaTrader will only update the indicator when the bar closes or when a significant price change happens, instead of processing every single tick. If you're running multiple complex indicators or strategies, using on bar close is the way to go. It reduces unnecessary calculations and helps keep NinjaTrader responsive. Less historical data, more speed. Loading too much historical data on your charts can really slow things down. If you're loading hundreds of thousands of data points, that's a lot for your system to process. In the data series window, reduce the days to load parameter. Instead of loading an entire year's worth of one-minute data, try limiting it to 30 or 60 days. This will decrease the amount of data NinjaTrader has to handle at once. Use shorter time frames like 5-minute or 15-minute data to keep your chart responsive without overloading your system. Disable Tick Replay, unless you really need it. Tick Replay is a feature that replays every tick of historical data, giving you a detailed simulation. However, it's very resource intensive. If you're not using Tick Replay, disable it. To do this, go to the Data Series window and uncheck the Tick Replay box. This will eliminate unnecessary processing and improve performance. 
If you only need tick replay for specific indicators or strategies, make sure to enable it only when required and turn it off after use. Clean up those charts. Over time, charts can accumulate extra indicators and drawing objects like trend lines, text annotations, or shapes. Even if they seem harmless, they take up memory and slow down rendering. Regularly clean your charts by removing unused objects and indicators. For example, if you no longer need multiple trend lines, delete them. This will lighten the load on your system. You can also right-click and remove indicators that you no longer use, keeping only the essential ones for smoother performance. Restart NinjaTrader daily. NinjaTrader can run for a long time, but sometimes, just like you, it needs a refresh. Restarting it daily helps prevent memory leaks and ensures the database is refreshed. Make it a habit to close NinjaTrader at least once a day and then reopen it. This gives your platform a quick reset, clearing out temporary data and preventing performance issues from building up. If you've been running NinjaTrader for an extended period, a quick restart can fix minor slowdowns and refresh your connections to data feeds. Duplicate instruments. No thanks. You might be tempted to open multiple charts for the same instrument, but this can quickly overwhelm your system. Instead of opening multiple charts for the same instrument, combine them into a single chart with multiple data series. This way, you can still track different timeframes without overloading your computer. Use one chart to view the same instrument across multiple timeframes, like five minute, 15 minute, and hourly for a more streamlined workspace.
clear historical data and SIM101 account history. Over time, historical data and simulated trade histories accumulate, which can slow down NinjaTrader when trying to access or process that data. Go to Tools Historical Data Edit and clear old trade data or historical market data that you no longer need. You can also reset your SIM101 account history to free up space. Clearing old trade data or resetting your SIM101 account will keep NinjaTrader's database smaller and more efficient. Close unnecessary apps. Other programs on your computer, like web browsers, email clients, or streaming services, take up valuable resources that could be used by NinjaTrader. Close any unused programs before launching NinjaTrader. If you have browser tabs open, close the ones you don't need. This will free up CPU and memory allowing NinjaTrader to perform better. If you're running resource-intensive programs in the background, like video editing software or games, they'll really impact NinjaTrader's performance. Close them to boost responsiveness. Limit Global Crosshair The Global Crosshair is a nice feature that shows synchronized lines across all charts, but it can be resource-heavy, especially when you're working with multiple charts or running strategies. To reduce system resource usage, disable the Global Crosshair in the Chart Properties menu. This will speed up chart rendering and improve responsiveness. Disabling the Global Crosshair is especially useful if you're trading in fast markets or working with low-spec systems. Clear Ninja Traders Cache NinjaTrader's cache stores temporary data to speed up loading times, but over time, it can become cluttered and slow down the platform. Go to your NinjaTrader 8 backslash DB folder and delete the cache files. Don't worry, NinjaTrader will regenerate the cache as needed the next time you launch it. This will help the platform run smoother and free up disk space. Clearing the cache every few weeks will help maintain optimal performance. And there you have it. These simple steps will have NinjaTrader 8.1 running faster, smoother, and more responsive than ever before. Follow these tips regularly to keep your platform in peak performance shape. For more tips and troubleshooting, visit chartvps.com slash helpdesk. Don't miss our weekly videos. Subscribe now. Thanks for watching and happy trading.